All right, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to the channel. Thought I'd uh, give you a rundown of what's already done to my truck since it's daylight outside and I had the afternoon off from work. But uh, I wish I would have started the YouTube channel when I started and first got the truck, but uh, it's already got a bunch of work done to it and we'll go over that and then what my plans are for the future. So this is a 2006 Cummins Twin Turbo Mega Cab. I love the Mega Cab. I never sit in the back seat though, so don't really have a, a need for it right now at least. But got the 20 by 12 fuel Mavericks which I know are really popular but I liked them so I went ahead and got them and 331250 Toyo MTs if I had a bigger wheel I probably would have gone with an all-terrain tire but uh, an all-terrain tire with uh, that much sidewall just in my opinion doesn't look the best recently just got these eBay headlights but they do the job and they've sealed up uh, perfectly no leaks or anything got LEDs all the way around HIDs in the headlights and the fog lights everything's paint matched I still have to get the bottom piece on the bumper done that's why all those uh, holes are right there uh, I had the truck painted about six seven months ago uh, and I wanted to change the color it was red from the factory but uh, it was too expensive to change color so opted to keep her red and my uh, my most recent upgrade is right there the fast 150 and then I also have this XDP fuel sump I don't know if you can see that but it is a dual feed and return sump so when I installed the fast I didn't even have to drop the tank the factory lift pump is in there the uh, fast plugs directly into the factory harness so it was super easy install a little tight space for working and you can't really see while your hands are up there you kinda have to look and then bend down and get your hands up there and do everything but uh, got it done and uh, it really wasn't wasn't all that bad. I did it all by myself, and y'all should too. You should try it. All right, so inside a little bit, we got the three pillar gauges right here. We have the EGTs, a boost, which I need a bigger one. This one goes up to 60, but I recently just hit 60 PSI, so it's time for a bigger one. And we have the trans temp right here. There is a light that will come on on the dash on these Cummins if the transmission is overheating. But I like to know exactly what temperature it's at. A little peace of mind, you know. And then right here we have a Pioneer Double Den, which I also installed by myself. Uh, I got it from Crutchfield, and they have some awesome customer service and uh wiring diagrams online that you can go look at everything it was a pretty simple install and it uh, did it all in one night and the inside's uh pretty much stock um other than a subwoofer and stuff that i have in the back that's the the really nice thing about these mega cabs is they have so much leg room in the back but they also have like 12 inches of cargo space behind the rear seats there's a ton of room back here. There's my sub. It's just a single 10. It's not much to it, but uh, I got the amp right there. It's not really attached. I, I haven't fixed that up yet. But again, that's all all wired up uh, by myself. I didn't have a professional store do it. But uh, it's good equipment. And if you have good equipment, then it shouldn't matter. Um, I, I did take it to a shop and they um, tuned the EQ on the radio and stuff for me so that it would sound better. So the when I first got the truck, uh, it was stock height with 20 by 9 inch wheels, and I'll post a picture up of that for y'all. Um, it wasn't leveled or anything, completely stock suspension, and I put a, a 3 inch um, 
lift and level on it from BDS. And it had the three inch springs on it and a little block in the rear. And then I uh, put a leveling kit on top of that so I had five inches in the front and two inches in the rear. Uh, I ended up going back down to 33s from 35 inch tires so I took the block out of the rear and took the leveling kit off the front so it's stock height in the rear, three inch springs in the front and then I also did the long arm kit for the six to eight inch lift that BDS offers but uh, it, fit, it works well with these 20 by 12s. Um, I had to trim right here quite a bit so that uh, it wouldn't rub on the fender wheel but and then a little bit on the front bumper but still not bad and uh, I'd go lower if I could I might in the future uh, just because it saves money on gas and yeah, it's a little bit quicker down the drag strip as well so let me pop the hood real quick and then I'll uh, get into the engine stuff I had a, me and a buddy of mine um, he had a shop so we pulled it into his shop for about two weeks and I uh, did a, a lot of the motor work took the, took the head off without an engine hoist so that was fun because these things aren't light but here we go it's, it's not nothing pretty nothing's painted like a lot of trucks are but uh, she functions well and that, that's what really matters. I might dress all this up later on another project down the road, but for now, this is it. I have a lot of wiring I probably need to clean up, but there's the compound turbos. It's a stock turbo over S475 with the s and intake right here. Uh, inside we have ARP625 head studs. Hamilton 103 pound valve springs, Hamilton Extreme Duty push rods, and recently Exergy 60% injectors. Uh, the bank's high ram intake, that was on the truck when I got it. I would have gone with something different, but uh, it's red, so it matches the truck, right? And that's uh, it's pretty simple up here, but she's quick and gonna be faster. And one of the reasons I bought the truck is I picked it up from the transmission shop. The previous owner never even drove it, but not that you can see it. There's a big purple transmission up under there. Again, probably would have gone with a different brand just because I've had some issues. Um, but it's a, it was an ATS stage one transmission that I put uh, billet shafts in and uh, I put a gear in valve body in it because I was having issues and uh, the torque converter went out in it after 30,000 miles. So I went with a gear in torque converter as well. I haven't had problems since then. I put about another 15,000, maybe 20,000 on the truck since uh, all that work was done. And this doesn't quite look as good. It's uh, Rear bumpers paint matched. Uh, that's just from spray paint that I did. It's not as smooth, but you know what? It's a truck and looks better than it did when it was chrome. So I'm happy with it. LEDs in the rear tail lights. I thought about getting some aftermarket ones, but it wasn't really worth it. And these uh, with a red truck, I, I, th I thought I'd stick with the red theme. I don't really want some black tail lights. So I just think they, they stick out too much. I like the sleek, simple look, and sometimes you just gotta say no and not buy something because you'll make it too gaudy and too loud, and that's not, not something I was looking for. Uh, I did think about getting all these silver pieces on the wheels painted red. Um, I'm not really sure exactly how I would wanna tackle that, if I'd wanna do vinyl or paint or what, but, um, I also wanted to take this off and get a smaller center cap that leaves the lug nuts exposed and get some red spiked lug nuts. Um, so if y'all know what I can do with those and a center cap that I can find that'll stay on there um, without screwing on like this one does, that would be awesome because I really want those lug nuts to be exposed. I need to get some traction bars. I'm shopping around for that. 
Uh, I'm sure I don't have really bad axle rep, but I'm sure that it would really help uh, keep those wheels planted on the ground. I haven't been to the drag strip in quite a while, but I plan to make a trip after this winter season is over and when next spring rolls around, uh, I might make a trip back down to Alabama uh, for the next truck meet. I'm in Missouri right now. But yeah, so things in the future are hopefully near future are traction bars and then a uh, CP3. So I don't know if I'll go with a 10 mil or a 12 mil. Uh, and that'll be really for it for the engine for now, unless you know something breaks, you can always get a better part to replace it. But uh, if, you know the stock turbo, it's got 170,000 miles on it almost, which is what's on the truck. So I might get a larger uh, small charger and uh, maybe a 64 or something like that. We'll see. Um, I don't know exactly what the future holds, but that's the, the beauty of a build is you just kind of go with the flow and as time rolls on, your interests change, your likes change. So I, I don't know, I might get new wheels. I've had these wheels for almost three years now. And like I said, everybody has them, but I liked them and there wasn't really one that I, I liked better at the time. So I went with it and I went with flat black because gloss black is super hard to clean. It shows scratches. I've had black vehicles before and I'll probably will never own one again. They're gorgeous. I just, it's too much work for me. Red uh, doesn't show swirls nearly as bad. And it, again, it wasn't the color of choice, but when you're buying a used vehicle and this one was uh, being a mega cab and a brand new transmission, it was just, it was too hard to pass up. Um, so I, I've got the LEDs in here right now, but I don't know if you can see that. Um, I thought about getting those red, kind of match the truck, and maybe change the dash lights to red later on. That might be something uh, that I can do relatively soon. I don't know. Um, you let me know what y'all want to see, and we'll see if we can do it. Like I said, I want to keep it sleek on the outside clean i don't like uh, a bunch of decals or anything like that uh you know red and black is is pretty much all i want to do with touches of um silver pieces but no chrome definitely no chrome um here's a, a guy from alabama's his life sticker got it in red for me he's an awesome friend it's the only decal on the truck i've wanted to put other stuff on there but again, I just talked myself out of it because I like the sleek look. So yeah, here's my truck and I hope y'all like it. I hope you want to see more of it and I'll, I'll keep making these videos. And as I get new parts, I'll start videoing those parts like I haven't done in the past. And um, yeah, let me know if there's any suggestions y'all have on what you would like to see and um, any parts that you think would be a good addition to good old twin turbo mega cab so uh yeah please like this video and subscribe and i hope you all have a wonderful day thanks for watching another thing i forgot to mention i have a, a dummy switch down here for torque converter lock because who has all the money to pay for a co-pilot and all that jazz and uh y'all comment what you think the other switch is for i'll leave it up to the imagination